Hi ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to bring you a little bit something different from the jury. Um, we usually focus on foreign talents and foreign leagues and we don't really talk about South African players much and I feel like a few gentlemen have really put their hands up in recent times making it abroad, playing in top leagues in Europe. So we're going to try to zoom in on a couple of these gentlemen every month or so just to give you guys a look into what they're up to and just to show you that South African footballers are actually representing us, you know. This week we're going to focus on two gentlemen who are playing in the French League, that's Ligue 1, and these guys will be profiled by, by Tebojo and Sandile out there in Joburg. First it's going to be Lebojang Piri to be profiled by Tebojo. Okay, what up gents? Um, Lebojang Piri is a 22 year old centre mid, currently playing at um, Gignan in France. Um, he's a, he plays centre mid, but he can also play centre defensive midfielder. Um, yeah, he is a 94 baby. But before we go into his season now, Jinyam, because he just got there in a free transfer this season, um, I'm going to talk a, a bit about his early career. Um, there is one, one, one notable event about him. Before he, before he uh, joined any youth teams, he, his, his youth career started at Real Madrid in 2004 and 5 at the age of 10. Before he moved back to South Africa and then played for Balfour Park and um, Shooting Stars. He then made a name for himself at Bidvest Vist for four years before moving to the Danish side Brumby, where, his, I, where I guess his, his name, he, 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 he began to fill out his jersey. Played about 115 uh, games there, mostly at um, centre mid. He managed to get a, player of the, a Brumby Player of the Season award, I think, in 2015-16 or 16-17. Um, but yeah, he's, he, he made a solid name for himself and then decided, you know what, I want to go to the French side, even if I'm going on a free. Um, he wanted to further his career. He chose Zinia because of the names that have come from there. Um, Kushani, a notable one. Um, and yeah, I thought we should just highlight him because he's playing in arguably one of the most exciting leagues right now, given, given the talent, the young talent, the spread of talents between um, Monaco and PSG. Um, just faced PSG re recently, even though it was quite a convincing win by PSG. Um, but I think he is one to look out for. He's he's had a few appearances in in the under twenty threes and one appearance I think for Bafana, but he has decided that he's not going to play under twenty threes anymore. So maybe he's just waiting for his full senior um, um, international career to take off. But yeah, that's my profile on Lem Piri. Watch out for him, Ox. Well, we wish him all the best with that. I hopefully. We get him into the team and hopefully our team our team goes in that positive direction having a team of gents who have taken the next step in their careers hopefully we get there one day and our soccer elevates you know and now we're going to ask um Sandile to please give us a little quick briefing on keegan dolly okay so um i got keegan lorenzo dolly <laughs> born on the 2nd of january 1993 in johannesburg I think he was also one of those Westbury products like Steven Pinar. I think they just breed some excellent players from there. So he's an attacking player. Um, he's left-footed, so he usually plays on the left. Um, I think a lot of people know him for his role at Mamalodi Sundowns, where he was part of the CBD with Castro, Billiard, and himself, where they were just back. Like, yo, guys, they, they, just, they just ran the show. Yeah. Um, but he did, he did stop making a name at Ajax Cape Town. He is a product of the Manuelodi Sundowns Junior, um, the, Ki the Ajax Cape Town Junior, and he was also a product of the, of the School of Excellence. So I think also that the, the School of Excellence, having those type of um, systems kind of do help. Um, he has 10 caps for Bafana and scored two goals. He, in 2013-14 season of the PSI, he won the Young Player of the Season. Um, he's, he's mad skillful. Like He, he knows how, how, to, how to dribble. He's, he can use both his feet. But he's, he's predominantly left-footed and he also has a shot you know the shot that, that also has he has a better one um and i, and I remember uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a few um games where i've seen him score like proper goals i think um there was the long range against gambia i think there were two long ranges against gambia where like even the keeper was dizzy there was one against um i think it was in the champions league against ac leopards um and also that one against highlands park like this guy bangs outside the box he's he's he's, he's brilliant from there um and he's still young. He's 24 years old. He he's got he's got a lot of he's got bags of potential. Um, he's in he's in he's playing for Montpellier now. Um, well he's ha he hasn't really had a great start because of injuries and also like there was someone ahead of him. But since that person is gone, I think it's time for him to shine. 
Um, last season he did play against PSG where they, I think they lost two 0 but I um I think just this just um just give him some time in the in, in his in his new team in the new league. They're also struggling, but yeah, he's he's, he's a great prospect for Bafana and he's a great prospect for Montpellier and for football in general. But yeah, that's Keegan Dolly. I agree, Keegan Dolly, special special player. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That was excellent work. Well done on the research. Much appreciated. And I'm sure the fans appreciated it too. And I'd just like to thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching that. And please do not forget to subscribe to our page, The Jury Essay on YouTube. Please do not forget to follow us on social media. That is The Jury Essay on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And we'll try to give you some more of these essay player ups. Today was a French edition. Hopefully we can, with time, tour Europe a little bit, see a little bit more of the world, see what our boys are doing. Thank you very much.